Advisory break just a couple of days away, but if you're heading to the Caribbean, you want to take note of some travel advisories. News Channel 9's Ashley Kafar was at Syracuse's Hancock International Airport today with what people need to know. Jeff and Christy, if you are traveling to Jamaica, the government is asking you to reconsider. And if you are going to the Bahamas or other parts of Europe, exercise increased caution. Come next week, Syracuse's Hancock International Airport will be bustling with travelers for winter break. Here in the Northeast, this time of year, everybody wants to go. Anywhere that's warm. One of those warm spots, Jamaica. The tropical island coming in at number five for top destinations for central and western New Yorkers with a number of people heading there next week despite a travel warning going into effect just last month. Have you gotten any phone calls or anything? Um, just uh, when, the, when the advisory uh, first, came, first out. came out, maybe one or two. So it's really not deterring travel. And it's not deterring the U.S. Department of State for reissuing the Level 3 Reconsidered Travel Warning due to crime and medical services, warning travelers about the high volume of violent crimes, including armed robberies, homicides, and more. The advisory also says sexual assaults happen often, including at all-inclusive resorts. All-inclusive resorts are also very popular when it comes to tra vacation travel in Jamaica. So... It, it raises a measure of concern. So what measures should you take if you are heading to the tropical island or other destinations on the travel advisory list? The government says research the country you are going to, ensuring you understand the local law. Also, find out what health insurance is covered in case you come across a medical emergency. Common sense is really key no matter where you're traveling, so you don't want to wander off into unknown regions alone. Uh, safety in numbers. Um, the wee hours of the morning, you know, we have to be careful about where we are and, and uh, who we're with. And Taylor says so far none of her clients have canceled their trips to Jamaica, but have seen cancellations with parts of Europe. At Syracuse's Hancock International Airport, Ashley Gaffaro, News Channel 9. Coming up, plenty more from tonight's huge.